So I'm just making this to give a progress report on myself where I am. I do not care about being a Hebrew Israelite um, or do not care for being a Hebrew Israelite. I know that I'm Hebrew um, by blood. I'm aware of the fact that we are the chosen people um, and that we have a purpose. I believe we have a purpose to be a light unto all the nations, to be an example of a people um, residing with God to draw other nations to him. And I want to fulfill that function to the best of my ability, not only for the sake of other people, but for my own sake so that I can live a life that's, you know, with Yah, with the Most High, a life that's righteous, a life in which I can feel fulfilled and connected and encouraged and empowered and just all the benefits that you get um, within yourself in walking with Yah uh, as diligently as you can and also the benefit of the impact that you have on those around you. I want all those things. What I'm not so hot on is the culture that, or the religion, I guess, that we've created around being a Hebrew Israelite. And I think that oftentimes we only um, regard the camps as having created this religious mindset around being Hebrew. But I feel like even people outside of the camp, even I've been in that mind space. And I think that um, there are spaces that we go through on this walk that we just can't avoid because this walk is a process in which we're continually learning. So I am also trying not to blame myself or anyone else for whatever points that they are in their walk, but just to be uh, more understanding of the fact that coming into this understanding and coming into a deeper relationship with God is, it's a journey. It's a journey by which we're all a part of. I think what I'm just not attracted to right now is the, the religiosity of it all, you know, like, it just turns me off for some reason. Like, I don't care anymore for proving that we're the people. I, I honestly felt distance from people who believe what I believe because I just feel like I just can't be myself, you know? And I'm not gonna say I'm in the best place in the world, but I think I'm on the right track. Nonetheless, I, I know and I trust that God has me, even though it may not seem like it to a lot of people. Um, in the same way that when I started moving away from religion, like overt religion, it may have seemed like I was going off the rails. Now I'm moving away from Hebrew Israelism and I can imagine that seems like going off the rails, but I think I'm going in the right direction. I think I'm going in a direction where I'm learning slowly about just really trusting Yah in my mistakes. I'm learning about his heart in, in seeing how he treats me and loves me through the lowest points, the lowest times. Um, I'm gaining an understanding, I guess, of what it means when he says that we're chosen and that he's chosen us. And it's not so much like I'm the, I'm a chosen, like we're the chosen people. It's like, no, he's, his faithfulness is made evident in that he chose you and he's continuing to choose you despite your flaws, despite your imperfections, despite your backsliding, despite your utter disrespect and neglect of what is right he's still choosing you and i'm just hoping that that work will continue to be done in my heart that i can respond to his mercy and his grace not in abusing it but in coming to trust him more and also being a better reflection of patience and mercy and grace for other people who are struggling through and other people who are backsliding and other people who are having doubts and fears. But 
I don't feel like the Hebrew Israelite community, from what I've experienced, offers a lot of that. Because most people don't aren't offering that to themselves. We just feel like we have to be these perfect people who are doing all the laws and wearing all the things and always encouraging and uplifting and empowering, you know? And it's like, I don't think empowerment looks like motivational speeches all the time. I think empowerment looks like speaking from your heart and being human in ways that you may not even realize that you're encouraging people, but it's not you who's doing it. You get the benefit of being honest with yourself and sharing what is true to you. And God then does the work of allowing it to resonate in somebody's heart in ways that you may never see because he's the one that's doing the work in all of this in me, through me, for me, and for you. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, having a bit of an aversion from Hebrew Israelism, it doesn't mean I don't believe in the foundational truth. It doesn't mean that I don't know who I am. It doesn't mean that I'm not invested in my relationship with the, with the Most High, with Yah. But even that, like, why do we always call him the Most High? Like, why don't we call him by his name? I mean, I get that we don't know how to pronounce it, but pronounce it the way you want to pronounce it. That's what I mean, like, the Most High. It's just like, it's so impersonal. I feel like it's the same thing, you know, about like, how can we say, don't call Yahusha Jesus, but then you call Yah the Most High, you know, it's like, again, I'm not judging, I'm just saying like, <laughs> I feel like we get, we get stuck on the simplest things and we're missing out on a bigger picture, as we always have. And it's not to say that we'll ever be at a point where we understand everything, but I think that in everything we can engage uh mindset and a heart posture of humility to the best of our ability you know knowing that we don't know everything and i think in that we can really begin to find some freedom and some peace along this walk you know even in the midst of the roughest times when you as i've just admitted to where i am and just been like yeah this is where i need help you know like i'm not i'm not at the place where i feel like i could be but this is where i am and i'm asking you to meet me here or help me here Sometimes I'm just in it. I just allow myself to be here. But I trust. I know that I know that it, I'm always going to come around. I know that I'm going to come around. So I'm not depressed. I'm actually a bit joyful. I just interacting with other people sometimes causes me to doubt that it's okay for me to be where I am. Not that where I am is okay, but where I am with Yah, despite where I am, you know, good or bad. But I think I'm beginning to not make sense, so I'm going to stop talking now. But, yep, that's where I'm at.